Positioning in this market had still been decidedly bearish. Maybe the last four days were an anomaly. Maybe today is an anomaly. Whether you think it is or not, it was an awful day. The Dow Jones Industrial Average losing 1,300 points here on the day, down 4%. The S&P 500 down about 178 points, 4% loss on the day. The NASDAQ composite down 632 points or about 5.2%. The NASDAQ 100, which we should point out, is down 5.5%. And the Russell 2000, Tim, down about 3.9% here on the day right now at 1831. Yeah, to Mike's point earlier about a sell everything day, the idea of capitulation perhaps, 6%, 6, excuse me, make that five as we get settled here, only five Five stocks in the S&P 500 were in the green today. 497 were in the red. You really see that. Some of the big decliners there, the size and scope, Tim, of course, that you provide. Uh, we'll also try to provide some size and scope as well when you think about some of the individual sectors as well for the S&P 500. And again, there's not even one sector in the green for our radio audience. We'll put this out um, on Twitter for you. Even the best performers, it's still off 2.5%. The sector that outperformed energy lost 2.5% a day. That really tells you the pressure that this market was under. Household products and utilities, classic safe havens also, Mike, as you know this, off 2.7%. Unfortunately, we'll go to the bottom of the screen as well. As Caroline says, if you're long this market, the worst performers here were a lot of the red. Technology, software, media, semiconductors, you're off 5 to even 6.7% on the day. Well, Taylor, let me tell you about what actually did manage to gain today. There's not many of them. I could pretty, pretty much rattle off all the stocks that gained in the S&P 500. The biggest gainer, Corteva, which is a agri-science company, up about uh, less than 0.9%. They announced a $2 billion buyback. Twitter, up about 0.8%. This is after shareholders approved Elon Musk's $44 billion buyout. Of course, that's still about 38% higher than where the shares are trading. And uh, Romain, this one's for you. I know you're worried about your big load of butter being delivered on time. Yeah. Um, there's also concern about uh, fertilizer being delivered, and they're already hauling ship shipments of ammonia, a key component of fertilizer, because of the potential rail strike. Well, CF Industries shareholders actually like that news for some reason. That stock is up 0.7%. All right, you got the gainers, Mike. Uh, lucky to find a few of those. I got the decliners. It was pretty easy to do this today. I want to start with the biggest uh, decliner on a percentage basis in the S&P 500 today. That would be Eastman Chemical. Actually fallen the most since June of 2020 at levels last seen in November of 2020. The company guided lower than ex toward lower than expected third quarter results. The CEO said the demand has, quote, slowed more than expected in August and September. Analysts have been slashing price targets and ratings in the sector as sentiment continues to worsen. Citigroup actually performed better better than the S&P 500 today, but I still wanted to take note of it, down 3.7%. Shares did drop as much as 4.5% earlier. The CFO, Mark Mason, warning inve that investment banking revenue would fall 50% in the third quarter. Trading revenue would drop in the mid to high wow. single digit range as, range as well. Uh, and then another home builder, Roman, I know you hit on these earlier today, Lennar down close to 8%. Home builders taking a stock, uh, a, a hit today. Toll Brothers, DR Horton turning lower as well. Hotter than expected inflation print could signal, of course, that mortgage rates could go up in the short term, and yeah. that would certainly put a dent in what happens. And, we, and of course, we'd be remiss not to point out the real impact of big tech here. Apple and Microsoft posting their biggest uh, one-day losses going back to September of 2020. There's your superlatives there. Apple, Microsoft down 5%, uh, a piece here on the day. Amazon down 7, Meta down 9, NVIDIA, Alphabet also sliding here on the day.